What is going on everyone, Secret Titan here, bringing you the Legendary Weapons Guide. On today's edition to the Legendary Weapons Guide, I'll be showcasing one of my personally favorite weapons ever, the Maggie. Now, in Borderlands 2, Mola drops are items that drop from any suitable loot source, ranging from skag piles to tiny tiny pots, in addition to their dedicated loot source. And for the Maggie, its dedicated drop is from Mick Zafford in the dust. To unlock the McZaffer boss fight, you must finish the Clan War mission series and at the end side with the Hodunks. In siding with the Hodunks, you will lose the ability to fight Jimbo and Tector Hodunk to drop the Slaga. Best way to farm McZaffer would be to travel to Lynchwood, turn around, and use the Dust entrance. When using this entrance, it will set your spawn directly next to McZaffer, making this a super easy farm. Once you finish him off, just save, quit, and relaunch the game, and you're immediately right next to him. Now that we have the Maggie, let's talk about it. Maggie is a legendary pistol manufactured by Jacobs. Its unique effect is that it fires 6 projectiles per shot, only consuming 1 ammo, but has decreased accuracy and damage per projectile. Due to the Maggie's special effect, its damage output is astronomically higher than any Jacobs pistol at the same level. When looking at this weapon closely, you can tell that this is a hybrid weapon type, a shotgun pistol. Due to the pellet spread of this shotgun pistol, the Maggie is best used in close to medium ranges. Some key worthy notes for the Maggie is if the Maggie spawns with a double shot accessory or the two for prefix, it will consume two ammo per shot, but only fire 10 projectiles per shot. If you didn't know, the prefix trick shot makes all bullets ricochet. When looking for the roll in the wild, the best possible roll would be either a dastardly or a trick shot prefix, with a Jacob's sight giving the Maggie less spread while ADSing and a Jacob's grip increasing the damage, mag size, reload speed at the cost of fire rate and control. Characters that can make good use of pistols like Salvador with his I'm your uncleberry skill can make quick work of most enemies, but surprisingly, Gage can also do some pretty good work with this non-elemental damage weapon. With the trick shot prefix and a solid roll, this gun can behave like a really toned down version of the Fibber. And specking it to Zero's sniping tree, you can reduce the spread of the projectiles and increase the critical hit chance, making this gun somehow even better than it already was. That's going to be it for today, folks. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a second, but it really helps out the channel. 95% of you are not subscribed. And as always, good luck. Have fun, everyone.